Radiator's leaking, time to replace it. Welcome back again. Today we're going to be replacing the radiator on this 2006 Mercury Mountaineer. Um, this Mountaineer has a 4.6 V8 liter engine. This is basically a smaller version of the 5.4 Triton engine. So basically the same thing, three valves per cylinder, has a long spark plugs that always go bad or break inside the head. But we don't have to worry about that today. We're going to be replacing the radiator. It's leaking from right here. You can see the crack. So we're going to start off by taking out this um, intake hose. Should be a flathead screwdriver there. And the one here. So after that, I need to start moving all this stuff out of the way. So maybe this 10 millimeter air. And I already took out the water reservoir, it's just two 10 millimeters here. Pull straight out and then you disconnect the hose, you can disconnect it from here or from here, that's fine. And I'm gonna get down there and start draining the radiator that way it doesn't make a bigger mess than it's already going to. It's gonna make a mess regardless. So. Alright, let's All right, so here we are under the vehicle. Um, I just noticed that somebody broke the drain plug. I don't know, maybe when they installed it or maybe they did a flush once and they broke it. So I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Just take out that lower radiator hose and just drain it. Um, and I guess I'll just wait till it drains. As far as these lines, there's also a little special tool. You put it in here and then you press down on it and it pulls out. So I'll show you guys what I'm going Alright, so this is a special tool. It has two sizes. One smaller and one's bigger. But you basically open it up, put it between the line. Like this. And you're gonna press it in and then you pull the whole line out and it pulls straight out but I need two hands for this. Alright, so here we are. While the bottom is draining, I got the, both the coolant hose, hose on the bottom draining and I got the two transmission lines on the bottom draining. So now, I loosen this one up. I'm going to take off the this side. I'm going to take off the whole thing. The upper radiator hose. And then with a 10 millimeter bolt, I'm going to unscrew this one and move it out of the way. And take out the fan shroud now whether I had to take out the fan shroud first or the um, the fan or clutch fan assembly um, I'll see which one I need to take out first but we have to remove both of them you know to get the radiator out so all right so here out. we are the fan shroud is actually separating two pieces the bottom part and there's a the top part so just take off the top part, that way we can get to the fan shroud, remove the fan shroud, and then we take off the bottom part. To take off the top part, we got two 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter bolts also. One here, and one right here. And then, it, just, it has two clips here. You gotta press it and push it out. Same thing on this side. And then it just pops straight out. And now we're just gonna remove the fan shroud. I mean the... Um, fan clutch assembly so we're gonna unplug it first and then there's a special tool that you guys can rent from O'Reilly's or AutoZone or Advance or something like that uh, to help you out but basically we're gonna have to hold down the pulley while turning the, the clutch assembly um, I believe we're gonna turn it down let's see that one turns right and this one turns left we're gonna turn it counterclockwise so regular you're gonna try to the the bolt that gets bolted onto the water pump you're gonna turn it towards the left while holding the the water pump pulling so it doesn't move at all so we're gonna turn this to the left just like a regular any other bolt and then the whole fan trash will come I out I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the tool that I used to pull it out this is a fan nut wrench and that's a port number right there 
and this particular size it's a 36 millimeter there it is so basically and then you use this to hold the nuts you you put this that's where you're gonna put the nuts that go on the pulley so this one you can open it up and close it up so you're gonna put it in there and then you're basically gonna hold with this the pulley in place and then you put this on the nut that comes on the fan clutch and turn it kind of clockwise and you should break it loose and here it is so now he's got to spin it out and it should pop right out all right so here we are so far guys on the side of the radiator um right here he has a 13 millimeter bolt and on this side he has another one on this little bracket right here and that's what holds it to the frame and then on the bottom he has some hooks i don't know if you can see them from there that's where it's gonna sit um on both sides now this one had some uh what look like large zip ties down there and they look factory to me so maybe it was something from factory they actually put zip ties on the bottom on the hooks where the radiator is gonna sit but hey i don't know so cut those off and now basically pull it up a little bit and out of the hooks on both sides and now that it's loose, we need to remove the condenser from the back of the radiator. And it has this little cover here. So just pull the cover back and you'll see two 10 millimeter bolts on either side. The other one's down there. And there it goes. Um, after I do that, then the condenser, I should be able just to pull it out and then leave it hanging there so I can pull out the radiator. And then as far as the radiator goes, this right here is the bracket. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put that bracket into the new radiator. So once I get there, I'll show you guys how to take it out from here. You got to be very careful not to damage any of the AC lines or you can enter because then you're going to lose all your Freon and you got some more issues. And you're going to have to come back in there, do this all over again to replace that condenser and same thing the radio has to be moved out of the way so when you're here be very careful have patience it's doable you just gotta have a lot of patience don't screw anything up now right, so here we have it ready to get her out just got left to take off this 10 millimeter bolt and remove this whole bracket and put it in the new one This is where the condenser is going to sit. This has that 10 millimeter bolt there. And the condenser just sits in these little holes here. So after you take off those 10 millimeter bolts, just pull it straight towards you and up. And it'll come out of that little hole or that little mount. And then just let it hang in there and then just be careful with it, but pull the radiator out. And then to put it back on, just put these brackets on the new one and slowly and carefully put it back into place and then put the condenser back into here and start bolting everything back up. All right, that's it guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back for some more videos. Keep your hood up guys.